can be set from 1 to 60 centimeters of water pressure, or it can be turned off. The low minute volume alarm control can be set from 0.1 to 99 liters per minute, or it can be turned off. The alarm silence reset button is used to silence an alarm for 60 seconds. To reset an alarm and to start a 60 second preemptive silence period. The monitor select button is used to view monitor data and to enter the extended features menu. Remember that when you turn the LTV off, it will save the current settings. When turned back on, the LTV loads these memorized settings automatically. This makes it easier to power up the LTV, especially for home care patients. They don't have to reset their controls each time. The LTV provides a wide variety of information. Monitor data is shown in the display window and is actively updated whenever alarms and extended features are not displayed. The LTV scrolls through the monitor data automatically, displaying each value for three seconds. To stop the display from scrolling, simply press the select button one time. To move on to the next display, press the select button again. The monitor data displayed includes peak inspiratory pressure, mean airway pressure, positive end expiratory pressure, total breath rate or frequency, exhaled tidal volume, minute volume, IE ratio, and calculated peak flow for volume breaths. To return to automatic scrolling, double click on the select button. The frequency display shows the breaths per minute based on the last eight breaths and includes all breath types. Total breath rate is recalculated and updated at the end of each exhalation or every 20 seconds. The exhaled tidal volume is measured at the patient connection and is updated at the end of each exhalation. The minute volume displays the exhaled tidal volume for the last 60 seconds as calculated from the last eight breaths. Minute volume is recalculated and updated at the end of each exhalation or every 20 seconds. The IE ratio displays the unitless ratio between measured inspiratory time and measured expiratory time. The smaller of the inspiratory and expiratory times is normalized to one. Both normal and inverse IE ratios are displayed. The calculated peak flow is based on the tidal volume and inspiratory time settings. Calculated peak flow is included in the list of monitored data when volume ventilation is selected, but is not included when pressure ventilation is selected. The calculated peak flow is automatically displayed when tidal volume or inspiratory time is selected for change. When both controls are deselected, the previously displayed monitored data will be restored to the display window. The peak inspiratory pressure displays the greatest pressure measured during the inspiratory phase. PIP is updated at the end of inspiration. The mean airway pressure displays a running average of the airway pressure for the last 60 seconds and is updated every 10 seconds. The positive end expiratory pressure monitor displays the pressure in the airway circuit at the end of exhalation. PEEP is updated at the end of exhalation. The airway pressure display shows the real-time airway circuit pressure. The LTV generates an alarm when it detects a condition that requires immediate attention. Some alarms can reset themselves for instance, a high-pressure alarm that is caused by a cough. Other alarms require some action from the operator, so the audible and visual alarms will continue until the problem is corrected. When an alarm occurs, an alarm message is flashed in the display window. An audible alarm is sounded. Depending on the alarm, other actions may be taken, 
such as terminating the inspiration or opening the exhalation valve. When an alarm condition clears itself, the audible alarm is silenced. The alarm message continues to flash in the display window. Any associated control displays continue to flash. Warning: Do not operate the ventilator without setting the adjustable alarms. All adjustable alarms must be set to ensure safe operation. Do not leave the patient unattended without checking to make sure all critical alarms, such as the low pressure alarm, have been set. Of course, all patients on life support ventilation should have a resuscitation bag on hand for emergency use. First, we will discuss the patient alarms. The apnea alarm occurs when the time since the last breath start exceeds the set apnea interval. When an apnea alarm occurs, the ventilator will enter the apnea backup mode of ventilation. Any inspiration in progress is terminated and the ventilator switches to apnea backup ventilation. The control displays used in the apnea backup mode are illuminated. All other control displays are dimmed. The audible alarm is also sounded. While in the apnea backup mode, the alarm continues to sound and the alarm message and breath rate are flashed in the display window. Apnea backup mode will continue until the caregiver resets the alarm or the patient triggers two consecutive breaths. Let's observe the LTV cycling into the apnea backup mode by using a test lung. The ventilator is in the CPAP mode, so the breath rate has been set to dashes. The apnea interval on this ventilator has been set to 10 seconds. As you can see and hear, since no breath was triggered or given for 10 seconds, the ventilator went into the apnea backup mode. I'll now squeeze the test lung twice to simulate two consecutive patient-triggered breaths. This causes the apnea backup rate to stop and the LTV returns to the previous mode. Reset the apnea alarm and exit apnea backup ventilation by pressing the silence reset button twice. The high pressure alarm occurs when the circuit pressure exceeds the high pressure limit setting. When this alarm occurs, any inspiration in progress is terminated and the exhalation valve is opened. The high pressure message is flashed in the display window, the high pressure limit control display is flashed, and the audible alarm sounds. If the high pressure alarm condition persists for more than three seconds, the turbine is stopped to allow the circuit pressure to evacuate. The audible high pressure alarm becomes inactive and is automatically silenced when the circuit pressure drops below 25 centimeters of water pressure or below the high pressure limit, minus 5 centimeters of water pressure, whichever is less. To silence the high pressure alarm, press the silence reset button. Resolve the high pressure problem, then press the silence reset button to reset the alarm. The low minute volume alarm occurs when the exhaled minute volume is less than the set minute volume. The low minute volume alarm message is flashed in the display window. The low minute volume control display is flashed and the audible alarm is sounded. To reset the low minute volume alarm, press the silence reset button twice. The low minute volume off message is displayed when the low minute volume alarm has been turned off by setting it to dashes. This is an informational message only. The message is displayed at power up or when no front panel activity is detected for 60 seconds. To clear the low minute volume off message, press any front panel button or turn the set value knob. The low minute volume off, low peak pressure off message is displayed when the low minute volume alarm has been turned off by setting it to dashes and the low peak pressure alarm has been set to only volume control and pressure control breaths. This is an informational message only. The message is displayed at power up or when no front panel activity is detected for 60 seconds. To clear the low minute volume, low peak pressure alarm off message, press any front panel button or turn the set value knob. 
The low pressure alarm occurs when the peak inspiratory